Well, what I'm most thankful about Brad Meester isn't about anything related to football. From the first time I met him, and Steve Gerhardt and I went to his house in Jacksonville, and to everything I've heard about him and everything I've learned about him, he's a better man, he's a better husband, he's a better father than he was a football player. And Bob said pride. When Brad Meester played football, as a UNI alum, I was so proud to have comma UNI in Northern Iowa behind his name. And so, Brad, thanks for what you are as a person as much as what you are as a football player. If anybody knows me, speaking up front in, a group of, in front of a group of people is not my specialty. I'm used to hitting people and uh, <laughs> stuff like that. I don't, I don't talk to people. I just hit them. <laughs> that was my job. Two of the head coaches I had while I was here was Terry Allen and uh, Mike Dunbar, both tremendous coaches, tremendous guys. And... Uh, I'm, I'm truly honored to have them. Uh, they taught me so much about this game uh, and how to play this game and to how to reach my full potential. And I thank them for that. I thank uh, this university and Coach, Coach Allen for giving me a chance uh, to play this game. Uh, when I came out of high school, I was an undersized offensive lineman. Uh, I played you know, every sport in high school. I was a small offensive lineman coming out of college, and nobody really wanted me. Uh, none of the other Iowa schools <laughs> want to have any part with me. They, 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 I didn't get any visits. They didn't want to have any part. But the University of Northern Iowa gave me a chance. And uh, they brought me in, said they wanted to have me here. And they, they gave me a partial scholarship. If they hadn't done that, I would have never played football. Uh, I probably was not going to play anywhere else. Uh, I would have gone home. and. Uh, I, would, you know, I don't know what I would have been doing, but I wouldn't have been doing this. <laughs> now, I also want to say thank you um, to my high school coach, uh, Coach uh, Ed Thomas. Um, he had taught me so many things. Um, anybody that's played for him uh, or got to know him knows what I'm talking about. Uh, he taught me a lot about, you know, a lot about life, a lot about uh, pride in what you do, you know, working hard. Uh, counting and trusting in the guy beside you and just, you know, how to play this game the right way and how to live life the right way. And uh, you know, I can't, you know, I can't say enough about the man. He taught, he taught me so much about it. And uh, I thank him for that. I want to say thank you to my parents uh, who are here today. Um, they taught me so much about, and taught me and showed me how to be a godly father and a husband, and how, how it should be. Um, you know, watching them every day uh, work hard on the farm, you know, taught me so much. And uh, just, just the value and hard work and pride in what you do and, and being humble doing it. And I, I remember that still today, and I thank you guys for that. And, you know, one thing, I, I didn't notice it really when I was there, but I notice it now. Uh, obviously, working on the farm is hard work, and you don't get a lot of credit for it. But it's, it's a lot of hard work. And one thing that they always did for me is I, I played sports throughout the year, whether it was baseball during the summer or track or, you know, obviously football and stuff like that. Uh, they always, whatever sport I was in, they, they never said I couldn't go to practice because there was farm work to do. You know, if there was bailing hay or we had to be out in the fields or something, they always let me go to practice. They always let me go to the weight room. Uh, they let me do what I had to do at sports, uh, even though it meant them doing that much more work themselves in the farm. Uh, they always put me first, and I've always appreciated that, and I thank you for that. And last, I want to say thank you to my wife, Jamie. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, I met Jamie, we, we started dating while we were in high school. We dated through college, got married right after college, made the big move to Florida together, um, and now we have six wonderful girls. Uh, Yes, six wonderful girls. I don't know what I did. I was good as a kid. I swear I was good as a kid. <laughs> but I want to say thank you because you've always been somebody that I could, I could lean on. Because um, whether it was a, a hard day at work, you know, a tough game, a good game, or you know, when we made the big move from Iowa to Florida and we knew absolutely nobody there, uh, it was always somebody I could lean on, somebody I could talk to, um, somebody that was there for me, and uh, I would not be here today without her. And um, 
She is the glue that keeps my, our family together. There's no question. If you were on that flight this morning with us on the way here, <laughs> you would understand. She kept it together. I, I, was, I was almost out of control. She kept it together, and she's the one that keeps this family together. She, she knows this, the kids' schedules, uh, doctor's appointments, all that. I, I, you know, I just, I go day to day. Whatever, yeah, I just go day to day. But she's the one that keeps it together, and I, I could not be up here today without her. Uh, I could not have made it through it without her, and I, I thank her for that. And um, again, I am truly honored. Uh, I really am, and I say thank you to, uh, to everyone, and congratulations to all the inductees today. Thank you.